Hey everybody, Thomas here, and today it's a little bit chilly. I'll show you how chilly it is. So this right here is actually filled up with mineral oil. As you can see, it has frozen. Um, there is a gap in there and everything, but I've got to actually start taking this off when it gets really cold at nighttime. I didn't think it was going to be that cold last night, but for some reason this froze up. So, yeah. But we did get a little bit of uh, dusting of snow as well. Not a whole lot. There's probably like two, two and a half inches maybe. Um, right now I'm just warming up the tractor in the sawmill. I'm going to take this inside, uh, warm this up in front of like a little heater for a little bit too. And then we're going to cut a little bit before we go to church this morning. And I uh, really just want to cut in the snow. And uh, yeah. I'm just happy to be back in Wisconsin. Uh, we, we did do uh, trials out in Bath, Maine. Had a fantastic time out there, but happy to be back home for, you know, the, the Christmas time, if you will. We're getting close to Christmas. Uh, but in fact, we will be down in Tennessee for Christmas, so that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so what I did last time, it worked really well and everything. I am actually got my oven warmed up to 175 degrees. Go ahead and place that in the oven. Hopefully not irritate my wife too much. It's been a few more minutes. Pull this thing out of here. It's a bit warm, but there you go. It is moving, so I can go ahead and turn off the oven. Yeah, that's what you want. You want it to be free moving. If I was to try that when it was frozen, it could hurt uh, the internals of this uh, gauge set. So there you have it. Let me just get back out to the mill and cut up this log. Okay, now we've got our gauge back on there and I've got this white cedar log here and I'm actually going to be making an overhang off of the side porch to the house. Currently we have no overhang there and snow gets all over the steps and I don't like that. I'm going to keep the post actually in cedar tree form, just skin the bark off of that. So this will be a kind of a build series, but I do need some uh, structural pieces, if you will, so I'm going to be cutting some two by fours and whatnot. And really I'm gonna cut them as an inch and a half by four. So that's what we're doing here today. We have a log that's just over eight foot and we're gonna go ahead and cut this up into dimensional inch and a half by four and go from there.
Okay, so I'm running out of time. We gotta go ahead and head to church. I got it to a cant here. So this is on the four inch scale and this is on the inch and a half scale. What I'll do is I come back, when I get back from church, we'll cut this in half and then we'll make a, a decent pile of material to work with so I can build up onto our side porch of the house there. So we will see you shortly. Okay, we're back from church now. It's starting to thaw out quite a bit out here. I mean, the temperature is rising up to 36 today. So, yeah, we'll see how much this snow is left over after this evening. There'll be a little bit left over, but... All right, let's go ahead and cut this in half. We're at eight inches tall. We're gonna cut this in half, turn it on its side, and then go ahead and uh, get all those inch and a half by fours out of it. tension your blade and everything especially in this cold weather cold wreaks havoc on everything as I'm finding out my hydraulics are running slow so I can't push quite as hard as I want to I wait till everything warms up uh, but you know, it's all in the learning up here I want to see how many really really good ones we have here and how many need a little bit of you know work if you will it looks like there's gonna be four boards that are probably, I could probably use them as, as trim pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna say those four right there for trim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight 
really nice boards right here. Put a couple of these out so you can see what we're kind of working with. But uh, yeah, it was uh, easy cutting. I've got our blade on here that's pretty old too, but I figured, hey, it won't hurt it because this is white cedar. It's probably the last time I run this blade. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the results thus far. As you can see, that one's got a little live edge on it, but not too bad. All these are nice straight boards, and that inch and a half by four is a really good size to actually do some work. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've got some more stuff that's coming out here very soon. Uh, we're going to be talking about more blades from uh, Southeast Metals. We're going to be talking about um, the building. I still have to show uh, the final portion of building this building. And we're going to go over there and start working on our porch, as well as we're going to start stripping some cedar posts for that. So stay tuned for that. The reason I'm going to strip them is because on the front porch over here, we actually have rustic cedar posts that have just been stripped and then painted. And we're actually looking at maybe painting the house a different color. We've got to figure into some, some things on that. But hope you enjoy this thus far. Uh, please like, subscribe. Always do appreciate those who subscribe to the channel and everything. I know I've got a lot of people who are watching who aren't subscribed, but if you would, please think about subscribing to the channel. It does help the channel to grow and everything. And it helps me to, uh, you know, get some information out there for people who are looking at sawmills. And also, I'm looking for people who I can go and meet and shoot videos at their place, whether it be sharpening businesses, whether it be other sawyers and stuff like that. Just trying to network and grow the woodworking, sawmill, sharpening, whatever type of industries in my area because supporting little guys is great i love that and uh if we can you know have a network to share ideas and work with each other it makes everything so much better all right please like subscribe we'll see you around thanks